There it is. Why is he? Oh, oh, I, I feel bad, but I guess he's getting eaten. <laughs> Never felt the bite, just felt hood. These are big head shakes. What is this? If this is a small, it's huge. That's a giant. First small I ever ate. I'm nervous. There's another one. You know, it's funny how if somebody asked me to go fishing in the morning, like 5 a.m., I have no problem doing it. But when I have plans to go fishing on my own, I sleep in and do nothing until like 9 o'clock. So we are on the trail at like 9.30. So I'm sure the morning bite is basically non-existent now, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. We have a rod that Chance has lent us. He knows I'm a big finesse guy. He knows I like the sensitivity and feeling the bites and stuff like that. So he has found this blue speed stick carbon fire rod. It's a one piece. I think it's seven foot. It's got the longer butt and he paired it with this cheap Japan or Chinese reel that he found, I don't know if it was on Timu or AliExpress or something, I'm not sure. He built this with economy in mind. He knows I don't like to spend a bunch of money. And I believe he said he, he picked up this rod for around $30, $35, which is a perfect price range. It's even a little cheaper than some of the rods I've, I've tried over the years. And the reel, I think, was it $12? Maybe $22, I'm not sure. I have to ask him again. And yes, the colors do not match. He said that it is a little ugly. I'll say that. He has 10 pound braid on it, which right off the bat, I'm gonna say, I like to put some electrical tape on the base of my reel on the in inside of the spool. A, so I don't have to use as much braid, but B, I want that spool to be as full as possible to maximize distance when casting. I haven't done that well with it, but I have a funny feeling we are going to catch some fish with this today. I've been talking a whole lot. You guys probably already quit watching this. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should walk, but I'm not going to. Because I'm an idiot. We are here, and it's very sandy and hard to drive a bike on sand. I'm going to try to teach you guys something that I've learned. This is midsummer. It is dog days of summer hot temperatures, low water flow. These fish want to be where it's cold. Right here, along this bank of shore, that's not cold water. Out there, that moving water, that's cold water. They want to be in that stuff. Now, it doesn't mean that they'll be in it. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're right below it. So out there in front of us may be a good spot to finesse fish but I'm going to start up in the crazy rapids and fan cast that to see if they're in the faster portion of the water. Here we go. There it is, not small, he's jumping. Maybe he's not as big as I think because I'm skiing him in. What is happening? Why is he, oh, oh, oh my God, he died. Oh my God, I, I... oh my God, he, he's dead. I've never seen that in my life. Oh my God. He's, it went through his brain. He's dead. Oh my God. Are you guys still recording? This, it went through, I've never seen that in my life. Oh my God. Is he big enough to keep? I'm gonna have to keep him. Is, am I allowed to keep right now? I gotta look this up. Oh my God, he's, he went, it went through his brain. Oh my God. I've never kept a small in my life. This is insane. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Like, this is not good. I, I don't like that that's a possibility. <sighs> I'm pretty sure you can keep right now. And I think they have to be 12, maybe 15. I don't know if he's 15. This is insane. 
Dude, it went straight. It went straight through his brain. Through his eye and through his brain. How does that even... How does that even happen? He is not 15. He is only a 14. So I need to look up the limit right now. Hello? Hey, I need you to do me a favor. Hello? Can you look up... Can I keep a bass right now? And does it have to be 12 or 15? I know you can keep right now, but I don't know if it needs to be a 15. There's a bald eagle. Oh, 12 inches, September 30th. 12 inches, so I can keep it. Yeah. I, I feel bad, but I guess he's getting eaten. <laughs> Do I have a stringer? I should. And I don't. What do I have? I have 20 pound fluoro. Just use this. I'll have Smalley for lunch. This is not how this trip was supposed to go. I've never seen that in my life. I, I've never heard of that. I've never seen that. I mean, it happens. I mean, I'm prepared to do what I feel is right and keep them and eat them. It can't let it go to waste. It's just, this is part of nature, honestly. I went out fishing, just went to catch some fish. Did not expect that I would be taking home a dang Smalley. <sighs> See if we can catch one not in the fucking head. This weighs heavily on my heart, is all I can say. To make a cast with chances set up, it is not a super far casting rod in setup because it needs more braid, if you ask me. But this rod is very light. It, it, is, a, it is a very nice rod. The reel is very smooth. I like the little ball handle. That's also very nice. I do enjoy a two-piece simply for doing things like this, not having to hold my rod on, on a bike trail and going through things. Is that a ball? No, that's a vulture or turkey buzzard or something, hawk. And, uh, but the retrieve rate on this reel is extremely low. Well, like I said, the rod is pretty sick. It's very sensitive, very light. I also don't like the reel, how it's not a anti-reverse. So in those times where I pause, and I let go, the, the, the reel will reverse like that and thump down and it feels like a bite to me. So I don't, I don't like that. But for the cost of the setup, it's not bad. It really is not bad. We just need to catch some fish on it because I'll be honest, I don't think I've caught a single fish on this yet. I cannot review a rod without catching a dang fish on it. I mean, the setup is definitely sensitive. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's not because it is. Okay, and then well, so also with the longer butt, it's nice bank fishing. I like it. It's nice for fighting, fighting fish if I catch one. But it's not nice for in the kayak. I like to do nice little flips and it that's going to hit my chest and belly and arm. I like that short butt for in the kayak. Oh, the other thing is I really have to have high-vis braid because that, that really does play a part in me catching fish. And then you can't see, if you don't keep your rod in line with it with your line, then you already are less sensitive because you're not, you, you got slack in your line. Something just jumped out there. Hey, it'd be different if I was purposely going to try and eat a smallie versus accidentally killing one through the brain. I mean, it was quick. He went quick. I'm acting like my damn family member died. Gotta say family member, you can't be specific because then you're singling them out. I think you just, you gotta, I gotta cast different. You gotta cast quicker, snappier. Oh, we have a fish. Does not feel small. Just big head shakes. He's either coming in or he's getting smaller. This is not small. Never felt the bite, just felt hood, these are big head shakes. What is this? If this is a smallie, it's huge. Oh, I think it's a smallie. He's not running though. 
This may be a giant. This is a giant. This is a giant. This is a nice fish. This is a big fish. That is a big fish. That might be a 19. Oh my God. This could be my PB. Play it slow, play it slow, play it slow. That's a giant. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's a giant. That's a giant. Oh my god. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's an 18 and a half. Eight. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> oh. They're in there. <laughs> 18 and a half. He's thick too. He's gone. <laughs> That's awesome. Little swim bait. Three inch paddle tail. I was just telling him I had a 20 inch follow right where you're standing. Oh, yeah. That could have been him. That was about three weeks ago. That was, for being this time of year, that guy was thick. I just made my whole day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's hard to pop yeah. <laughs> my braid got popped out right at the end too. So I got this loop. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, you're good. There's plenty of room for everybody. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> oh. That's insane. Never ran, never really pulled drag. Oh, 18 and a half. Never weighed it, because I have an audience. And have a damn small in my backpack. That's another one. This is big. This is big. This is big. If this is a small, it's huge. I think I felt teeth though. Maybe. Oh, I think it's a smallie. I think that's another big smallie. That's another big smallie. Is he big or is he just fighting hard? Oh, it's a drum. Oh, fake me out. Oh, he's not even that big. <laughs> oh. Oh. Drum guy. I thought that was a giant. Oh. Stop. 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 It's a male. That's a male. It's a little male drum. He took off when he ate it. See you, bud. shaking still I messed up and never got a, a view with me in the shot so you guys can see how big he was never weighed it oh, Jesus it's like I it's like I never made a YouTube video see that's the dangers of having that board is I rely on that for you to guys to understand how big they are and I don't get that crazy cool outside view or you know it's it looks like a monster that's a big fish i this rod doesn't have enough bend for me i don't it's 
for a finesse thing, I want a little bit more bend. But the benefit is, with this reel, is it makes you fish slow. Well, Chance, thank you for letting me borrow your rod. I think uh, it might be good luck. Well, this is the review of the rod. It's good. It lands giants. <laughs> That's what's nice about catching the bigs on the kayak is you guys get to actually see what, how big the fish is versus holding it in front of me. It's gonna look like a 15 when that thing's a giant. So you mean to tell me that small moth was in here basically on its own. Why are they coming over here? Oh no, you're good. That's, I don't know what that is. It's a fishing pole, but somebody just like stuck it there. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, you're good. I'm about to leave anyways. I caught a few. There's one. He's not as big, but... Little guy. We found him. There we go. Little guy. Yeah. We're gonna get out of here. I caught like three. I just had one there like five minutes. <laughs> Uh, I got one for finesse, one for a buzz bait, and then I'm testing another rod for somebody else. This one there? It's a little uh, paddle tail, it looks like a fish. Uh, <laughs> it works. <laughs> Have fun, guys. All right, well, that ended the trip a little bit shorter, but that's okay. We'll let them have their peace, and, and I can go home and eat my smallie, which is something I've been wanting to do at some point. Sucks I couldn't do it on purpose, I guess, but here we are. We did the right thing, and we caught a monster in the same day. On Chance's setup he lent me for like the last month to catch a fish. So now your setup, Chance, has a monster caught on it. So hopefully that's good luck, and this will be the rod that catches monsters. I, I'm trying to say something cool, but I ain't got nothing. Just hopefully it's good luck now. <laughs> All right. I am definitely kicking myself for not getting a good view of that fish because that was a very thick fish. Dude, that smells so good. It smells delicious. First small I ever ate. I'm nervous. I want it to be good, but I don't want it to be too good. <laughs> it's probably still hot. It's like burning my hand. That's actually really good. Really hot. Oh, that definitely tastes different than anything else. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oh, dude, that's like that's straight chicken. Oh, you ate off of this. There was no bones. There was no those little pin bones. I didn't feel any when I cut it up. That's really interesting. What? Oh no. It tastes like fish. I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> That's delicious. No, this is not good. I can't tell anybody. <laughs> Dude, it's delicious. Oh my God, Deb. Did you eat a big piece of this? I just ate the corner of it. Dude, you have to eat a whole big piece. This is delicious. I believe you. What the No one told me they were that good. That's delicious. Doesn't taste like fish at all. I don't know who that was. I don't either. <laughs> it does not taste like fish. It tastes like chicken. It's it's like as if Long John's that wasn't bad for you and was cooked on a grill. Did you put, what did you put on this? Salt, pepper, and lemon juice. That's it? Yeah. them trout. Get them the out of the river. Oh my God. I'm not joking. To eat it's another like piece, it, it's delicious. But first of all, there is no there's no pin bones. No. I caught nothing when I cut it up. I'm eating it. There's no. 
This tastes better than walleye. This definitely tastes better than trout. What the? No one told me that Smalley tastes this fucking good. What the fuck do people eat trout? This is the best fish I ever ate my whole life. It is. It's better without the breading. We ruined it with breading. You're only allowed to eat a couple of month though. I ate catfish, I ate walleye, I ate trout, I ate drum. Now I ate smallies. I ain't up in carp or sucker. I ain't that. I have not eaten a crappie and I have not eaten musky. And I really doubt unless something accidentally happens with a musky, I'm never I'm not taking a musky home. Smuggets. Smallie nuggets. <laughs> I feel weird because I know you're not supposed to eat that many of them. So I know that I'm consuming something in there that's not, maybe not no, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's limited to a month, I think, which I is not good. Six. Is it six? Six or four. No, no, no. That's the limit. Oh, that you can take home. <laughs> right. That's the legal limit, not what you should consume.